All right, question of the week in Blex Review number 31. Our question is, which system initially begins in the interstitial spaces of the body's tissues and then flows through an open-ended network of vessels that flow in one direction toward the heart? Is it going to be A, arterial, B, venous, C, lymphatic, or D, cardiovascular? One more time. Which system initially begins in the interstitial spaces of the body's tissues and then flows through an open-ended network of vessels that flow in one direction toward the heart? Is it going to be arterial, venous, lymphatic, or cardiovascular? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you which system initially begins in the interstitial spaces of the body's tissues and then flows through an open-ended network of vessels that flow in one direction toward the heart. And we had a great turnout here. We had 48 votes. 8% of you said arterial, 19% of you said venous, 67% of you said the lymphatic, and then 6% of you said cardiovascular. And then thank you to the 12 people who liked this post. So majority of you went with the lymphatic system. So let's see if this is the correct answer. Now, before we do, let's make sure that we look up the key words here in this question. So one more time, which system initially, this means beginning, starts at, begins in the interstitial spaces. These two words are key words, interstitial spaces. So what are interstitial spaces? Interstitial spaces are the space or area that is between the cells and tissues, also known as interstitial fluid, which can be found in the body's tissue spaces. Now this is gonna be throughout the entire body interstitial spaces. So now we know what the interstitial spaces of the body's tissues are. This system then flows through an open-ended network. That is another key word here, open-ended network. Well, what is this? In our bodies, we have both closed and open networks of vessels that run throughout our body. And so a closed network of vessels would be enclosed or contained within the vessels. And so an example of this would be our cardiovascular system, which is a closed circulatory system in which blood is enclosed within the blood vessels and stays within these blood vessels. So the blood is going to be pumped by our heart. It's going to go into our arteries, then to our arterioles. It's going to meet at the capillary beds. Then it's going to go to our venules, to our veins, and then back to our heart. So this is a closed loop. So we can go ahead and get rid of the cardiovascular system because we are looking for an open-ended network. Now there's another thing I wanna point out about this is that you have the arteries here and then you have the veins here. So this is the arterial side and then this is the venous side, which means we can get rid of A and B because it's arterial and venous and they are part of the cardiovascular system and that is a closed network. We are looking for an open-ended network of vessels that flow in one direction towards the heart. So now let's look at an open network. An open network of vessels is when fluid flows freely in the body's tissues. For example, this would be our lymphatic system, which is an open-ended network of blood vessels that picks up the interstitial fluid. So if you look here at our capillary beds, you can see that we have lymphatic capillaries. These are going to be the ones that are in green. And so right here, it is zoomed in, and you can see this word that says interstitial fluid. That means that the fluid that is between the spaces of our cells and our tissues. This interstitial fluid is then going to go in the lymphatic vessels and become lymph where it is then going to be cleansed in the lymphatic system and then it's going to return back to our heart so back to the cardiovascular system so the correct answer here is the lymphatic system 67% of you got this answer correct so great job here guys y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all in the next question of the week y'all take care